For most of your MBA application process, you can take your time, edit, revise, and think. But when your applications are submitted, and now suddenly you're faced with a live interview, you have to think on your feet. I'm Jessica Schlar, Managing Director at MBA Mission. For well over a decade, I have helped thousands of applicants gain acceptance to business school. I'm here today to help you with what is often the scariest component, the interview. I'd like to talk to you about some of the questions you can expect at your business school interview and how to prepare. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I'll share some resources that will help you on your journey to business school. Of course, I don't know exactly what questions you will be asked during your business school interview, but I'd like to cover five typical types of questions that MBA mission clients have been asked in recent years. First, many interviews will start with a general, tell me about yourself or walk me through your resume. Since you can anticipate that this is very likely to be your first question, it's an easy way to become comfortable with the interview. It also helps the interviewer get comfortable. My suggestion is not to walk chronologically through your resume, which most likely your interviewer has seen before. Instead, think of one or two themes that tie together your journey. For example, you could start by saying that you were driven by a value of challenging yourself and then point out how each job or extracurricular does so. Or you could say that problem solving is a common theme that runs through your story. Think of a way to go beyond the what you have done to address the why. Oh yes, don't forget to address your extracurriculars and hobbies or other aspects of your life story as well. Secondly, most interviewers will ask about your post MBA goals and why you want an MBA. You should have thoroughly addressed this in your application essays. So in preparation, reread your essays and really think about the logical flow from your past experience to your future goals. Then think in specific ways about how the school will help you achieve those goals and also how you will contribute to the school's communities. One good idea is that before the interview, go to the school website and navigate to the newsroom or press release area and see if there have been any developments like new programs or a change in leadership that you should be aware of. Third, expect your interviewer to ask some behavioral questions. How do you know when it's a behavioral question? These questions typically start with a phrase like, Tell me about a time when, or give me an example of a situation when. A good structure to answer in a succinct and yet thorough two to three minute way is to think of the acronym STAR, S-T-A-R, situation, task, action, result. Situation is one or two sentences providing the overall context. Task is the immediate goal that you're trying to solve. For action, list two or three concrete steps that you took and then finish it with the result. How was the situation resolved and what was the impact? I should note your interviewer won't be looking for this structure. It's just a tool to help you move rapidly but thoroughly through the answer. Fourth is a weakness question. I made up the acronym WISP, W-I-S-P. W stands for weakness. Give a real weakness, not a fake one like I'm such a perfectionist. Business schools understand that you're human, so it's fine to say that you used to lack confidence or didn't speak up enough in meetings, as long as you then follow the rest of the letters in the acronym. I stands for impact. How did your weakness affect you or those around you? Did others not recognize your contribution because you didn't speak up in meetings and therefore you were passed over for good projects? The S, steps, is perhaps the most important section. What are some concrete steps that you have taken to improve on this weakness? Finally, the P is proof. In one to two sentences, prove how you handle situations differently than you did when you first received feedback on this weakness. Most interviews will conclude with the interviewer asking if you have any questions for them. Let me start with some don'ts. Don't ask what they think of your candidacy. Don't ask what other schools they got into. Don't ask them to address something negative about the school. And don't ask them such specific questions about a class or program that they can't answer it. Instead, ask about their experience with the school or ask them for advice on your journey. Get them talking about what they love about the school, and that will both leave on a positive note and give you great information about whether the school is a fit for you. If you would like to learn more about how to put your best foot forward in your MBA interviews, I highly recommend downloading a copy of our book, The Complete Start to Finish Guide to MBA Admissions, which has a chapter on interviews. You can also download our school-specific interview guides, which are free, for more information about each school's interview. You can download all of these from our website and they are linked in the description below. 
If you have more questions about your MBA interviews, you can sign up for a free 30-minute consultation with me or another member of our team. Of course, we can also talk to you about any aspect of your MBA journey. You can also sign up for a mock interview where we can help you practice and prepare for your interviews to make sure that you shine. Both services are linked in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, if you liked this video and want to get more MBA admissions and application tips, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.